Now, Thursday, of course, is Imagination Station Day, and today we have bubbles. But what about these bubbles is the question, Jamie. Absolutely. What we have here today is I brought in something that the family can do. Um, a very nice activity, kind of an all year round um, experiment that you can do at home. So the big question is, do you have to use the commercial bubbles that you get at the store? I want to know the answer to this because I have a 16 month old daughter that loves bubbles. So great. Do we yeah, no, you don't. And you can actually make a better bubble recipe with just a few items that you can find at right. a, either at home or at the store. So, so we're going to we're actually going to have you mix them up here. Um, first, we're going to start with two cups of distilled water. Okay. So we, and we use distilled water because we don't want any of those extra uh, minerals in there like iron or calcium, anything like that you'd find in tap water. You could get this from the grocery store something for less than a buck a gallon. So exactly. it's easy to find distilled water. Yep. Okay. And then we are going to use two tablespoons of the Dawn dish soap okay. and just regular old Dawn. You don't want anything fancy, no antibacterials, any special fragrances, nothing okay. like that. Simple Dawn. You want to stay away from Oops. the knockoff version. Okay, it has to be the Dawn. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be Dawn. Okay, it's just, it just it's says... what we found would be better. Okay. Got and that in. And one tablespoon of glycerin. Now, glycerin is our special ingredient. And when you pour it out, you'll notice that it's very viscous. And it actually will help protect our bubbles. So Where do you get something like glycerin? Simple supermarket as well. I got okay. this one at Walmart. So. All right. One. Yep. One tablespoon. One tablespoon. Oh, you're right. Oh. Oh, I tricked it's, you. It's got the safety <laughs> lid on it. Okay. We'll get this. Absolutely. Well, I'll mix open. it up if you can Kay. do that real quick. But like I said, Walmart, you go in the beauty supply. It's actually used for a protectant on your hands. Is it? Yeah, and that's actually going to do be what it does for our bubbles too. It's going to protect our bubbles. I was like, you're not kidding. This stuff's hard <laughs> to get out of the bottle. All righty. So we've got one tablespoon of this. All right, just dump it right in there. Okay. Mix it up. And then you can see, you can pick up your wand, start blowing bubbles right away. Okay, how long do we need to give this a mix? Does that glycerin you dissolve know, pretty quickly in this? It doesn't. That's the other secret part of this is, especially if you have an infant at home, uh -huh. it takes 24 to 48 hours for it to last. Really? Yes, the longer it sits, the more durable your bubble's gonna be. So you might wanna mix it up prior to telling them you're gonna play it. <laughs> Good idea. So All right, I think you're good there with mix, that so one. I'll give it a try? Sure. Kinda got bubbles, right? All right, they well check this out. They don't last long, but okay. this is what we've brought in. We've actually mixed this up at Imagination okay. Station. It's been sitting about 48 hours now, so they're very durable. If you pick up your wand, go back yes. and forth. I mean, you can see bubble just kind of, it's very, very strong, durable, right? Yeah. So you can try to make a big bubble. I can actually blow a bubble inside of a bubble if I'm. Let me see the trick. All right, let's see if we can do it. Oh, I got a big one there. Oh. So you got to capture the yeah, bubble. Yeah, you got to capture it. So if it hangs out here, Got a bubble inside a bubble. Very now watch cool. this, ready? Boop. And now you got <laughs> bubble badminton. Oh, I popped it, but. So very fun. So what that glycerin is doing is actually protecting our bubble. Um, the water that evaporates off the surface of our bubble is the death of the bubble. That's why it pops. As soon as that water evaporates, we had no longer have a very durable bubble. So the glycerin kind of protects it. You can get really big bubbles. So you can actually freeze a bubble too. Can you really? Yeah, you can. And will it stay longer then? It will, if you can actually create a mechanism that would um, capture your bubble, put it in a freezer. If um, viewers actually take a picture, you can post it on our Facebook page Do you know what I too. think? I think they need an Olympic game of bubble making. <laughs> My daughters would probably love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So you guys are having fun like this all the time at Imagination Station. What do you have coming up yeah. next couple of weeks? Um, on Saturday, we actually have our water rocket challenge where visitors come in and they build rockets, launch them in Festival Park. Um, it's a great opportunity to bring the kids out. We also have Navy Week coming the 21st through the 26th. It just looked like you were inside a bubble for a second. Oh, did it? <laughs> it was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> Kids can have fun with bubbles. Kids can have fun at Imagination Station. Of course, your hours on the screen right there. You always bring in fun and exciting experiments to us. The bubble inside the bubble is one yep. of the coolest the things top. that I've oh. seen. Oh, almost had it. it. Shoots them out. And it shoots them out, and then you play badminton. Yes. Very cool. All righty, well, I appreciate your time this morning. We'll have you back in next week. We'll have some more fun. How's that sound? 